crossed. Um, it's half one, I've been walking for three or three odd hours. I've seen loads of wolves, not one of them was Roman. Adrian? 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 There's still not, oh, there's still not the wall. It's fucking four o'clock. Adrian? No, it's a fence. The main road down there, really peaceful, relaxing, getting away from it all. I'm not even, I don't think I've even left fucking Newcastle yet. Adrian! 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 That's Adrian's wall there. The word hangover was in fact brought into this country by the Romans. Oh, did the Romans have 3G? Well, no, but they did invent broadband. We're on a hill, Romans invented hills. Yeah, all of England was flat until they turned up, a bit like Holland. Go. Yeah, Romans invented that too. Just uh, setting up camp for the night. It's way colder at night <laughs> and in the morning than it is when you go to bed. This kind of ground is not comfortable. So next time we'll find some grass. Uh, forests and secluded areas are much warmer than massive, open, nothingness. That's base camp set up for the night. This is my little castle for the evening. That's a bottle of herring. Gonna drink some grenade for you. Gotta be an easier way than this. Sludge. Adrian! Oh, it's in my beard. Oh. Alright. Having my mac and cheese. Put a little fire. lunch. Slug, slug, slug. Shoo! Shoo. Do one. Big slug. A limpet miles from the sea. Freedom! That's not a limpet. More slugs. Slugs. Foot watch at the end of day three. They are a terrible, terrible state. Soaking wet, covered in blisters. Feel like someone is, is basically rubbing a cheese grate on them with every step and then pouring salt and vinegar in and then sandpapering them and then burning them with a little flame and then throwing porcupines at them. This has been horrendous. It's, it's been spectacular but it's all like, if it's not uphill then it's downhill, quite often over rocks. I have blisters, I can feel blisters in places that I didn't even know existed on my feet. Oh, blisters. Oh, blisters. That is literally terrifying because I can't move very fast right now. No train coming. Still no train coming. I've got very little chat left, to be honest. Just head down, walk on. So, 
two days after the walk and one of the blisters on my heel is not going anywhere. I don't want you to let me too big to put a shoe on. So I've asked my nursemaid wife to take care of it with a fully sterilised and sharpened pair of nail scissors. <laughs> oh. All right, careful. Okay, here we go. What do you mean, here we go? What's it doing? I'm coming out. Oh. That's got to be it. Well. <laughs> I'm starting to feel drained. I can't really leave you with a hole in your foot because it's going to go on the sheets. 